been farming a total of maybe 35 years or so. We have 10 feet of rain a year and three streams, three springs. And uh, our decision to locate turned on the, the availability of free water. Back then, the water was free and we knew that it was probably going to be free for a long time. Well, you know, five years ago, it became apparent to us that we needed to diversify in our crops because then we were all in bananas. So we decided we'd go into hydroponic vegetables. Something like this requires energy. I think the alternate energy is electricity. We're going to have less oil, it's going to be more expensive, and we've got to get away from it. For us, it's pretty clear that we have got to do the things we need to do to get off this fossil fuel train. So we tried to set up our farm so that we would avoid these higher energy costs. Sustainability this is a short way to describe that. What we didn't realize was that there was a flume that was running through our property and that was authorized by the plantation many years ago. When we started focusing on energy, all of a sudden we were like, holy smokes, there's this possibility of putting a pipe, run it downhill, put a turbine in it, make energy, uh, make a lot of electricity, and then your imagination goes wild. And you go, what could you do with free electricity? We could generate enough electricity for us to get our farm off the grid. So it was a slam dunk. We just decided, okay, we better go do this. The way we approach things is we look 10 years into the future and tell ourselves, okay, where, where are we sure we need to be? And then from now to then, by wherever we come to that um, crossroads, we go toward the direction of sustainability. Mm -hmm.